Let's get ready to rumble! Look, man, it, it's all right spitting bars and, you know, I've never been stopped. You know, he fought Vitaly Klitschko. Fair enough, he went the distance. That Vitaly Klitschko was coming off a three to four year layoff through injuries. He didn't hit as hard as the Klitschko who fought Lennox Lewis and beat up Kirk Johnson. He didn't. Yeah? Klitschko was a little shocked and he did well. Kevin Johnson did well. The fact is, he didn't have no form coming into this match suggesting he could trouble AJ. And people kept saying, well, what if he can take him rounds? Rounds don't mean it's just a number. Rounds are just a number. Your life isn't based on numbers. It's what you do between in them numbers. And as long as Anthony Joshua did what he had to do, he was always going to win that fight. And he, he just blew my guy away. Did, did Kingpin land a shot? Of course he didn't land a shot. He hasn't landed a punch, a decent punch in anger for a long time. And if he's already decided to start training for this fight, like he's saying, it's too late. It's too late. Your training has to be an accumulated momentum from a long time. If you want to fight... This is a world title contender we have it. This is a potential world title contender. And, you know, he looked sensational, man. Blew him away, put him on the floor, was ruthless, aggressive, sneering at him. And he just beat the crap out of him. Beat the crap out of Kingpin Johnson, man. Like, you know, you see Johnson was feeling sorry for himself. Clifton Mitchell asked him in the corner, you sure you want to go out, back out there? Because he knew it wasn't a good idea. Clifton Mitchell's a former British champion, heavyweight champion. He knew it wasn't a good idea. Kevin Johnson knew he shouldn't have went back out. But credit due to him for going back out there. But Anthony Joshua just blew this dude away. Just blew him away. <laughs> Ruthless. Ruthless, you know. I, I knew Kevin Johnson couldn't give Anthony Joshua a fright. And don't worry about saving gas. This guy's not pushing you back. He's not throwing a double jab, pushing you back, making you think. Using movement, making you think and use your legs. Do what you got to do. Fight behind your jab. Bring the right cross and then bring all the other punches in and get rid of him. And get rid of him. And he wasn't reckless either. He maintained his defense in the few little punches that Kingpin threw back and just took him apart. Second round stoppage. Easy work. Ian John Lewis had to stop it, you know. Kevin tried to con us into thinking that maybe the fight shouldn't have been stopped. Well, what, was, what was he going to do? What was he was going to do? He was going to try and make Anthony Joshua quit from punching you. Not a good strategy. Good win for Anthony Joshua. Too easy in the end, actually. Way too easy. And um, people are going to expect him. And the problem with winning these fights is people are going to be expecting him to, you know, jump up levels again. And, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Great performance, predictable for, in my opinion. I, I like the fight because he's fighting a range of different opponents who offensively can't really trouble him. And I think um, the next few fights and the next few fights, the matchmakers need to continue what they're doing. You know, maybe in um, a couple of fights, a Leah Pye and guys like that. I think the Dillian White fight might be on the table after this. Like Eddie Hearn didn't want to negotiate with Dillian while this fight was going on. Eddie, Eddie was taking his fight serious as, as he should do. He was taking it deadly serious, but, you know, it's out of the way. So, you, who knows, Dillian White later on this year. I wouldn't mind seeing it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing it. And um, it will be way more competitive than this as Dillian's beating him already. Let me let me tell you that now. Hopefully, Kevin didn't get hurt too bad. He'll get his payday. He'll go back. Don't spend it all in the strip club like you were saying, bro. You know what I mean? I don't know how much more paydays like that he's going to be gifted. You know, even trial horses and gatekeepers have their limit for how long they're going to be used at this level for contenders. That's all I can say. And as much as I'm saying they can't rush Joshua, it's too late now. It's too late, you know. He's been high profile since the Olympics, so he's probably going to be in the shake-up for the British title this summer. And that could be Dillian White, David Price, Gary Cornish, Dirk Chisora if he chooses to stay and compete for the belt. And um, he's got a chance of beating all of them got a chance of beating all of them to be honest with you he's ranked number 15 and i'm not saying he's unbeatable i don't think he's the finished article quite yet but but he's not nervous he's not scared of the big occasion he's not going to crumble mentally he's not worried about you know oh what's going to happen if he goes into the fifth round he's going to fight that's what he's going to do he's going to fight he's going to fi keep fighting that's what he's going to do the professional so um the world's out there and it's time for him to attack it and see what he can do People made a big deal about Klitschko and him going to distance with Klitschko and Chisora. Chisora's not a big puncher. Chisora had him on the floor. 
Tyson Fury boxed him. Maybe boxed a better Kevin Johnson. Maybe. And Vitaly is a guy who lets you come forward. He'll lean back and he'll strike you with shots and stuff like that. He's not really um, a blood and guts get you out of there guy. That's why he struggled to open up Kingpin with big shots like that. And Kingpin made it tricky. I mean, his brother Vladimir is similar in terms of he's not a two-handed combination puncher like a Holyfield. In terms of he's not good at making the fight. He'd prefer somebody to come onto him. So, you know, styles make fights, once again.